fishing town sits along Highway 101. On days like this, tourists wander the main drag, trying to spot a whale. It's touted as the smallest natural harbor in the world. You know, everybody knows everybody. In Depot Bay, life moves slow. Nice day on the Oregon coast. But on this charter boat. OK, there it is. The pace picks up. Get heavier. Real quick. Nice black rock fish. The tackle buster never rests. Try us tackle buster. Yeah, good afternoon, James. How's it going? Through the years, the owners upgraded the boats but always kept the name as they guide sport fishing and whale watching trips. There she blows. A father and son duo captain the ship. JT and Tyler Turner's roots run deep here. It's beautiful. It's, just don't really get tired of looking at the view. Tyler grew up on the tackle buster, learning from dad, the skipper. I started at the bottom. He always felt the call of the sea, but on June 27th, 2008, Life came to a screeching halt. In two seconds, our entire world flipped upside down. And I was riding my motorcycle to the, the post office and uh, to switch my mail over from college. I was back and uh, working on the boat as a deckhand and, and uh, just, you know, had a freak accident car pulled out in front of me. Watching him now, standing up here calling the shots, you'd never know. I like standing up here and people not knowing that I'm injured too. You'd never know he's paralyzed. Technically a T4 uh, paralysis injury. On land, he uses a manual wheelchair. On the water, he stands on sea legs thanks to these orthotic yeah. braces. You can see their carbon fibers, yeah. stainless steel. You go through those stages of grief. And so naturally, yeah, I went through. I was 20 years old. It was hard. That was an extremely tough time. Tyler worried his dream of a life as a captain would die. One of the biggest things with this injury is finding out what motivates you. And I was fortunate enough to be able to figure that out early on. Three months after the wreck, Tyler started working with trainers to get himself physically ready. Let's go and bring him up. We're keep popping around here. It took years. And the journey included a detour through the Coast Guard review process. You know, the first year was writing letters and to go through their denial process. I mean, letter upon letter, up the different, you know, uh, totem poles. He knew how to run the boat. That was the easy part. It was the now the physical part of it that I had to prove to the Coast Guard that uh, was the challenge. Tyler endured Coast Guard drills and tests, drove the boat for hours, which became years then graduated from a special school for ship captains. After five years, he earned his captain's license. And it makes me feel really good too. Now, I, I just let him go. As far as we know, we, we don't think there's any other captains in the U.S. that operate the same way as he does. Yep, one, two, three. Two, three. The ocean became the best form of therapy. Being able to leave a lot of your problems, you know, we say on the dock and get out there and be present. He wanted to share that with others like him. Tyler and JT made the Tackle Buster accessible for others with disabilities. Uh, it's wide enough here. We cut a, a door into the boat, a whole door as we call it. And uh, so chairs are able to, to come right on. Several wheelchairs can fit on the wide deck and get around to the bow. The crew takes groups of paralyzed veterans, athletes, and others with disabilities out to fish or whale watch. And that gives them a sense of being involved, just like everybody else, and to watch them see how happy they are. Giving them an opportunity to experience the same therapy Tyler discovered here. Just makes them feel alive. An opportunity to slow down in a place where life is slow. It's outdoors, what's better than this? And maybe here, discover what motivates them to keep going. That was a game changer for me, is, is finding those things and really focusing on them. It's a life lesson he looks forward to sharing with others out on the sea. I'm Tyler, I, I am paralyzed, and uh, I'm also a captain, and I'm a father, and which is awesome, and a husband, and, and a son, so, you know, it's, it's just one part of me. Morgan Romero, KGW News.